In this example, we use the DominoDB module to create documents in a notes database. Here we use the use server command. We declare the use server command. We also pick up server config, demo config, and a couple utility functions. The document that will be created in Domino is described by this function. This is a JavaScript object. This is the attribute name, and this is the attribute value, uh, supporting all uh, simple types. So here's number, number list, text list, number pairs, date list, and date pairs. One document is the result of this function. The actual calls are we use server, the use server command, passing in the server config. Then we use the use database function to work with a specific database. And then we call the bulk create documents operation, passing in the list of documents, in this case, one document that we want to be created. The result of the new, of the bulk create documents operation is a, is a one or more documents. And here we pull out the NID for the document that was created. And then we issue a bulk read document by NID from based on those NIDs. So creating a document and then dumping the results of the document using uh, that we return back. So let's see this running. So here we have the result of the create document operation. We have the, the, the document that was created, the NID of the document that's created and reading back the single document so this was done as a result of a single network operation. And here, I'm going to show you that you can create multiple documents in a single network operation and reading them all back in. So this is 15 documents all read in. In this example, we show the use of reading documents using the query function. We have the similar configuration variables at the top of the module. Using the use server function, using the use database function, we call bulk read documents. And we pass in, instead of a list of unIDs, we pass in a query. And then an attribute called item names. So the bulk read documents operation will execute the, this bulk query looking for fields that have this value, salesperson that has true de this name, a specific part number, and then a date less than a certain time. So this is the query operation that we passed into the Domino query facility. And then as a result, of whatever the documents are identified that satisfy this query, we are only interested in these four items to be returned back. Running this function, running this script, we see that there are seven documents that satisfy this query. The last document is this one, and it has an ID, and then four fields that were, that were part of the request. This is a single uh, operation to make the query and to get all those documents back and to show that we can satisfy multiple uh, fairly large requests. We can run the query for all documents in a database. And this is again, a single request and a single response with over 10,000 documents in the response. In this example, we show the use of replacing values in a document. We have the usual code at the beginning of the, of the script. We have a block that we are not do, going to execute just yet. This is under the if false. But what we're doing is we are reading documents that satisfy this query, and we're interested in only in these two items. So first time I'm going to run this, I'm going to do read documents that, set, that are either in Detroit or in Chelmsford. So here we find that there are 1,700 documents 
that are uh, the origin are in Detroit, and there is no other item called uh, special priority, which was requested. So here we also asked for special priority. It doesn't exist. I'm going to change this to true so that we actually do execute this code. And here we're doing a bulk read items. The query is the same for um, looking for uh, documents that match this criteria. And then the operation we want to, to do is replace items. So we're going to replace the order origin to be transferred. And in this case, we're adding, since the field doesn't exist, we're adding the field called special priority, and it's going to have a value of two. And because we change this to a true, then it will execute it, and then we'll print out the results. The 1700 documents were modified on the server as a single request. And here we are reading them back in. We see that um, here's the NID of the first document, and then the order origin now is now transferred and it has a field called special priority. This is an example of replacing all attributes of a notes database of a notes document. So here we have the, the similar uh, code at the top of the module. We have our use server and use database. This script makes a read documents, a bulk read documents operation looking for a document that matches the order number 100595. We know there's at least one document that matches this criteria in the database. So we we get the results of that document in this variable, and then we get the unID from this document that was found. The operation that I want to show you is bulk replace documents by unID. And here we take, uh, we have a list of documents that are like we passed into to this operation where we want to do a wholesale replacement of all the attributes. So here we pass in the unID of the document we want to we want to update, and here are all the new attributes that will be replaced in that note uh, to replace the existing ones. Um, and then we, we dump out the replace note, and then we'll read the note again from the server to find out, uh, to verify that the contents are being spelled. So running this script, So here we have a document that was found, and these are all the contents of the, this is the contents of the document before its modification. So this is one document. Here's the NID that was read. We, um, we execute the replace operation based on the NID, and then we read back the document and its attributes, and we see that uh, the form name and the first name and the last name have changed. All the attributes, all the old items have been replaced with the new items. We also have the uh, dollar revisions field now, which is a result of doing a, a node update. And it shows the, the document was just recently updated. 